Good morning, dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Ah. Be like Mike, work out, prom, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For everyone planning on attending to be like, work, m like Mike workout, make sure to grab your team of three people and submit all of your names to either Mr. Potts or Mr. Dudley via email. Don't forget to be there on Saturday, April 27th at 9 a.m. And, and prepare to be like Mike. Dogs, prom is coming up very soon. This year the theme is Enchanted Evening. It will be held on Saturday, April 13th at 8 p.m. hosted at the Clinton County Fairgrounds. The cost is $25 per ticket right now, so get them quick before the price will increase on the last two days of sale. Remember that you need to have a signed parental permission slip before you can purchase the tickets. You can grab your slips and tickets at the bookstore. There are many scholarship applications due this month, such as the Zyota Zai, Ivy Tech, and the Stacy Ball Legacy Scholarships. For more updates about the upcoming scholarships, Make sure to stop by the student services or check the chatter for more updates. Seniors, your cap and gown will be ready for pickup on April 17th during lunch. You'll find Herf Jones in Collaboration Room 2 from 1030 to 1230. All final appointments are due on April 17th. If you miss picking up your cap and gown, please check with the front office. Now with Senator Bryan with sports. Yo, thanks Evans. Hey, looks like I'm the new guy for sports for a couple of weeks. But anyways, looks like today there will be baseball going against Rossville at 5.30. And also, tennis has been canceled. There's also a meet for track against Clinton Prairie. And make sure you guys be careful out there since it will be raining. So make sure to dress appropriately today. Well, that's all I have for today's sports. Now I'm going to say it to your favorite weatherman. Yo, thanks Brian. HCTV's favorite weatherman is back. Last night, as expected, there were some very heavy thunderstorms throughout the majority of the night, carrying all the way into this morning as we're coming into school. Fortunately for us, though, it was not pouring outside. Looking forward for today, there's going to be some more likely thunderstorms for the here and all the way up to the evening. Today's high is to be expected around 67 degrees with winds ranging from 5 to 10 miles per hour, eventually increasing from 20 to 30 with the chance of rain climbing all the way up to a screaming 80%. Fortunately, towards the night, cloudy skies are going to be overhead with a windy evening. Tonight's low is looking to fall all the way down to a chilly 34 degrees, with winds ranging from 20 to 30 miles per hour and possibly even higher. So don't forget your hoods and umbrellas, all dogs. That's going to wrap up Tuesday's weather report. Now back to your wonderful hosts. Thank you, Garrick. Today's Tuesday, so I hope you know what that means. If you haven't guessed already, it's Trivia Tuesday. And today's question is what teacher could have played baseball at Ball State University? For today's lunch, we're having General Tso's chicken in lines one and two. In lines three and four, it'll be stuffed crust pizza. Thank you, lunch ladies, for reminding me today. A special happy birthday goes out to Ureli Garza, Gar Garza Morin, Gonzalo Lopez, and Abigail Sutton. Happy birthday, hot dogs. That's all for the morning announcements. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday.